What's up, everybody? Dozer03 here. And look how close we are with Tim Lincecum. We are only eight strikeouts away. So let's get into a game and let's see if we can get it done. Who haven't we played yet on the channel? I don't think we played the Athletics. Let's try against them. Actually, you know what? Eight strikeouts. I'm going to go in. Hold on. Let me get out of here. We're going to play in that Diamond Stadium I got. Which I've already played a game and it's actually pretty cool. It looks like it's just a really old stadium. It's called Scheib Park. And I believe that's what it's called. right? Yeah, Scheib Park. Built in 1909. Alright, so we still have not gotten Tim Lincecum on the random pitcher selection screen. But we can hope we can get him here. That'd make it a lot easier to get eight strikeouts with him on full energy. Which I haven't gotten yet. So we've been pitching with a zero energy Tim Lincecum every time we use him. But hey, we can do this. All we need is eight, and we get ourselves a gold Tim Lindsay. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series. So here we are in Shy Park. I am 39 and four, so I'm also going for my 30th win or 40th win. That's kind of cool. So Hamels is on the mound. Good thing about playing at home is you pitch first. So there's Hamels, one batter faced. Escobar is there for it. One away. Perfect, and now we can get Lindsay come in the game very quickly. In now, Jake Smolinski. So the countdown is on, guys. We are eight away. Yeah, Springer's not pitching. He can't even play the outfield right. He is not pitching for the team. There we go. Lincecum is in with a record of 5-0 and with an ERA of 1.04. The average versus righties is 100, and the average versus lefties is 152. So although he's always tired, never has energy, he doesn't really give up hits. Drops in a strike to start the at -bat. Nothing I think he's one. given up like a total of three runs in his five so far, five starts. The plate, one ball, so one if we strike. can do this, we will have done it in six games pitched. High fly ball after See, this is not helping, center. though. Polanco we need to get strikeouts, not flyouts. So the chances of getting eight, I think, are pretty good. Now in the top of the first with nobody on. But... Again, if I, if I get like seven, I'm not uploading this video. And then I'll just do another gameplay. But I think we can get eight. That's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. Check that seven. We only really need seven now. Seven strikeouts left for Lincecum. He's at 53 out of 60. Gregory Polanco. So now we just got to make sure we can get a lead. So I really like this Scheib Park. I don't think I've showed it to you guys yet. But this is the diamond stadium I pulled when I got trolled in that pack opening when I thought it was a diamond card. It ended up just being a stadium. This is the stadium I actually got out of it. And I really like it. It's a nice stadium. Oh, that was a close race, but we're out. Alright, this guy's an animal. Yanel Escobar is a beast. Bring in the shortstop I think in the 14-run video, he was a big producer in that. Popped ah, high damn. In the air. Valencia is there for it. Who's their pitcher? Graveman? Okay. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Jason Kipnis gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. All right. I'm a good first inning team. I like to get out to a lead quick. So typically, I do get runs in the first, and then I kind of die in like the seventh, eighth. And then I wake up again. Pretty much, though, it's funny because the Madden gold cards are pretty much useless, but in this game, gold cards are actually really oh, and good. There's and there's a gold card. That's Kipnis, and there's the first home run of the game. Look at that here. on the roof. Oh, my God. It wasn't super it's far, but it was really, really high. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. JD now here's JD, Martinez who has eight homers, 14 here. RBIs, and, and the probably strike. about the in same the amount of games. Up, here comes the 0 and 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? I believe he has an RBI in every game he's played in so far. And we'll have to leave. And that might have been his first strikeout, actually. Three and that. 
So Kipnis with a solo home run, Leading off and the, the Tacos Chris are up 1-0. Lindsacum needs seven left. This game up. And once he hits seven, we can actually use relievers. Now that's a fair ball. Springer getting to it, but it's a little late of a throw. I don't think we... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! What a throw by George Springer. Absolutely snipes the runner. That was a great play. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes. Let's try to make it six one. left. And, two. and on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. You would? Not a bad pitch I'll give you one. Strikes, but You'd be shocked to see a fastball. There's a fastball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one and two pitch chop foul at the plate it'll remain one and come two. on go down change up <laughs> and that fades down and away two and two on the ground to Damn the it. right side on I mean outs aren't bad but we need strikeouts for Lincecum, two up two down this actually is not good Steven Steven Vogt is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one and that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Got him there we go, seven left. Or excuse me, six left now. We're at 54. If we can get one an in inning, guys, we're good. Salvador That's all we Perez. need. We'll leave things off here. As so the requirements five, aren't too bad now. We just got to do it. To start the home second. Salvador Perez. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Salvador Perez is a multiple gold goal Honestly, that pitch play, that pitch was just where I wanted it. But he can Probably not going to get another one like that. With the bat as well. That was close. He gets him to swing through that one. He's in control. Perez, four homers, yeah, seven Perez RBIs. A He's a very good catcher, too. Player. So those you know, golds that we bought in that, I don't remember what video it was, but the golds we bought are good. And then there's Seager. This guy is an absolute god. Kyle Seager. Kyle Seeger stands in as he looks at ball one here. This guy is really good. That even up one and one. Why did I and swing? Seeger had another solid year in 2015. So, uh, I'm thinking that after we get this Lincecum, we'll probably go back to the career mode. Because I haven't forgotten about it, but I've been so preoccupied with getting Lincecum done. Oh, and you can tell Ow. he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside Myers, pitch anyway. Myers, he's doing better than I thought, two. but he's honestly not that good. Will Myers. All the guys, I think I might not guaranteed. I might be going to the Madden 17 uh, midnight premiere. Now, basically... I don't currently have a license, but if I did, I wouldn't have had it for a year. So that means that um, in the dirt for the I wouldn't strike. be able to drive past 11 p.m. So, but the throw is late, so the inning really, regardless of license or not, I wouldn't be able to get there away. myself, which kind of sucks. George so I got to hope one of my parents can clutch it out and bring me. And if they do, you away. guys will be getting yeah, Madden videos as I pull an all-nighter the first night it comes out. Because believe me, I'm pulling an all-nighter if I can get it at midnight. And now, I don't know how many people are going to go out Lowry, at midnight for Madden. The inning. I mean, Call of Duty, Gears of War, those definitely, but Madden at midnight? Coco Chris Not sure how many people here, are going to do that. The order set Coco to go here also, the, the last Madden 16 video I got to give you guys so far, is a comparison with early, my Madden 15 team, which I might do today because I'm not going to be adding any more to my team. But I don't want to upload it until like the day before, two days before Madden. Uh, Alright, so we got our strikeout for the third inning. And the and it's quickly but getting a little extra in one inning would not hurt Here either. The pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Martinez sprinting after it. He gets there. Nice catch by JD. The the and there's that number two. And now we have Kendall Graveman, the pitcher, is up. So I'm hoping we can finish him off and get two strikeouts in the inning to get to four. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. And all we need left is four. 
And we One have more than four innings to do it, so that's ideal. Pretty lively right now. Filthy change up no, you're a pitcher. Don't to make swing at my pitches. And he'll get another chance. Swing there we go. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. 56 strikeouts. All we need left is four. We're not pinch hitting because Lincecum is batting 190, which sadly is better than Springer's 190 or 167. First pitch pretty sad. on its way. But hey, it counts for hits with flashback players, one. so I'll take it. I have 20 right now, and Nothing if I can start completing count, more of those sets, I can do a team of all flashbacks and to get that 93 Robin Yount in the shortstop. Now, down 0 2. we got to get 500 hits right with flashback there, players. All I got now is Lincecum and Yanel Escobar, but one of the other gets a hit every game, so we will be getting hits with them. I could easily throw in the first baseman I have is... Uh, What's his name? Smolinski. Anthony Rizzo's and Padres rookie flashback. Nice I can throw that in. And if I do like sets, I can get like the 85 out of Roche. I can do all those sets to get cards too. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to do a 60 pack opening again because that was a lot of money to spend on it. But I can see doing 20 pack openings is a possibility for the future. But 60 was a rare occasion. I mainly did it because I know it's not a big deal to most people, but I hit 10 subscribers. So I figured, you know, that was a kind of like a thank you to you guys. And we've also hit over 200 views, so thank you for that as well. As always, I hope you're enjoying the videos. And I'm sorry I haven't played Madden in a while, but if you're a Madden player, and if you're watching my channel, I assume you are a Madden player. If you're a Madden player, you would know there's not really much you can do at this point in Madden 16. They just did a final edition, but I don't know why, honestly. No one really plays it at this point. So, there's not much I can do for you guys. They gave you the Hunter Henry gameplay. Sadly, it was no audio. Of course, again, I'm sorry for that. But if you watched it, you saw how well he played. To the point where I kind of need... Oh, what? Two strikes. Uh, Lincecum gave a little look to the sky as if to say, what? Uh, what was wrong with that? Excuse me. That was a strikeout. Wind up. Here comes the two that was two stupid. And he yeah, yeah, take that. There. The Embarrass out. yourself on swinging on a garbage oh. pitch. So now the way it's looking, we got up to a little slow start with the strikeouts, but now we're getting them a little more often. Good curveball. And I Part like two. our chances. I will say I like our chances. High in the air out towards shallow right. Martinez has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. What are we at now? Five Danny left? Valencia I think that's what we're at. Box. He was a strikeout victim in his first We saw the fifth, well, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. To get five strikeouts. Many frustrations Maybe even four, depending game. on what happens here. That it's gonna happen sometimes. And low, it's a ball and a strike. So I don't know what to do in Keeping Diamond Dynasty after Lindsay Obviously, I should do a gameplay with him. It swung on and hit in the air. Martinez has a read on it. Nope, it's not Martinez. It's Polanco. No trouble with this one. And the All right, so over. five strikeouts left, guys. We can do it. Jason Kipnis. Is set Kipnis, the only run scored tonight, is up again. Smoked on the ground and that's a hit. And Kipnis, a he is good. I've had him for a long time. Open up the inning. He's always been one of my best players. I think this guy right here probably is my best, him or Seeger. My best obviously will be Lindsay when that happens. But not yet. Because once you get the gold, I think the next requirement is just feeding starting pitchers to your Diamond Dynasty player. So that's not too bad, actually, honestly. Like, that's not a really crazy thing. It depends, though. I mean, if. You gotta feed like a hundred starting pitchers. Okay, that's different. That's hard. But we'll find out. I'll do a Lincecum update after this game. And that's Perez. And that's gone. Upper deck home run. Four O tacos. There we go. So a three-run blast to straight Honestly, that left. should do it. That should be enough runs to, to put the Kyle athletics Seager away. Stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground. And that's a base hit for Seager, which no, we're not going to turn into extras. 
I thought it might have split, but it didn't. So no extras for that one. Will Myers comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. You're going to call it an error on the second baseman on that play. Not too sure how it was an error. I mean, he didn't touch the ball. It just kind of got through him. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. As you guys can see, I still uh, swing at stupid stuff sometimes. Hit down the third base line. That's fair. But a foul no? ball and the count holds All right. it 0-2. I thought that was fair, but... Ready with the 0-2. This is hit high and deep. Now nah, that's not left. high and deep enough. Davis going back. Wait a minute, yes back. it is! But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Okay, back. Okay, okay, we're screwed. And he is out. I got a, a super, super, throw. super late jump on that because I thought Sliding it was out. The box. George Springer. See, Bob, now Springer's up. He's batting game. horribly. Does he even have a home run? No, he doesn't. Swing a hard liner to short. Oh, and he misses Again, it. I got another late jump. It's like, uh, what? As he reaches first safely. And the no, I'm not doing that. I want to challenge to that. Get the second out of the end. I was safe. So it's I was safe at second. And it'll be up to the left-handed hitting Tim Lincecum to extend the end. That's inning. trash. Swing and God damn it. Up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul I got robbed like twice. But all right, let's do this. Let's get those strikeouts. Off the inning, Chris Davis. I and believe we need five. Need something going here. And Lincecum able to jump ahead with the fastball here. No balls. And then the I don't know what the overall of the gold is. I believe the it's an 88. Right home plate. But definitely don't quote me on it because I had never seen it. But I feel like an 88 is a good gold ball. overall for the Lincecum card. Or they could just boost it to an 85. I don't know what they're going to do. This is Either way, the, air the gold has a spot in my what? A diving effort in center, but he can't get a glove The on gold it. has a spot in my lineup. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this. Thing. Really, regardless and of what happens, the gold has a spot in the lineup. Out the fifth with a leadoff triple. First baseman number First pitch of the at bat on its way. Or does he? Because Scott Cashmere doesn't. That one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Which is kind of sucky because I wanted to use my Scott Cashmere. Quickly behind Owen too. But third here, nobody out. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to use that cashmere that I got from the uh, Rays completion. Here it but comes I don't need him right two. now. But Fast he could go in over Verlander or maybe yeah, Duffy or someone else. We'll see. It really depends. Well, it's one of those we'll get there when we get there. Because my lineup for pitching isn't even set because I haven't even factored in the Diamond one. Lincecum. No runs, two hits. And, one and the other thing is, when I get the 88, score. I think it's an 88. I don't know why I keep saying 88, but I feel like it is. Again. When I get the gold, nope. Tried to work that's probably going to be my lineup corner, anyway. And, and the cool thing is, you get to keep the 83, too. So if you really like that 80, this 83 for some reason, you get to keep it. Oh! Another strikeout. That's two. We need three left, if I'm counting right. Swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to and that's of course if I'm counting right. Retired. We only need three strikeouts left. Gregory Polanco will stand in again. Couple of ground outs for him. So this video got to be like a dual video. So It'll be both a game and then a Tim Lincecum update because I'm gonna see. I'm gonna feed him like one starting pitcher and see how much it gives him. And then I probably just have to buy crap starting we'll pitches off the market because I'm not feeding him golds. Or I really could buy like a gold I already have, like Verlander or something, and just feed it to him that way. Because if you think about it, if you feed him a gold pitcher, you're just paying for a diamond. And that's gone. Yanel Escobar, two run homer, six zero tacos. But so yeah, I mean, if I buy the Ver, I don't know how much a gold will give, but I'm assuming it'd give more than a bronze in terms of, like the percentage. Sent on the ground out to second. But Lama again, as always, we'll first. see. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Daniel Colme. Wasn't he okay? A strikeout victim is first time and then a base hit last time around. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Smolinski. So yeah, I love this stadium. And that's out number I just think it's really, really cool. Salvador Perez steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. 
And we see some action in the ace bullpen now. It's both the left. This will probably be my home right stadium from now on. I, like, I've been using just whatever in MLB stadium I like the best. But I think home is where I think this one. is home. Because I don't like doing, say, Swinging like what we did versus the Royals. I don't the like ground. seeing, you know, tacos ball, versus Royals one, one. in the Cubs park. It looks stupid. You know, this park is kind of like team neutral. Hit high and now, I wish you could design center. your own stadium. That Chris would be like the sickest the thing ever. And Why are we going for a second? We're too damn slow. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is that was crap. Cause that was about the deepest double I could hit. Off the inning, Jed Lowry. And Three left, guys. If we strike out the side here, here. Got some work we have done it. Really, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Because honestly, I thought it was going to be like a nightmare. Oh my god, it's going to be so hard. And that's a There's one, two left. Honestly, this wasn't that bad. And he makes the throw to first. Lowry is if I do it now, that means away. I did it in six games, Billy so I averaged ten a game, which is good enough, I guess. I think I had thirteen in some games, but I think the first game I had only like four. So that hurt that the first game I did not get like any strikeouts. I'd be done with it by now if I did. You're gonna see some big bombs and timely hitting. Let's see what he can do right here. We're one away, everybody. He becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Oh, ninth strikeout victim. We're done, guys. I counted wrong. That's nine strikeout victims. We're done. That was strikeout 61. We are done with Tim Lincecum. Now we just got to finish this game out, and we're good. High in the air out to center field. Polanco giving chase. Oh. He Just to be safe, I'm not going to use any relievers. I'm just going to keep inning. grinding with Lincecum. Ryan Madsen will come on now to try and sort this Ryan mess out. should likely be asked right, to go at least here. a few But yeah, here. so we're going to do that. Kyle Seeger steps in. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. So, I think we hit it, guys. I must have counted wrong. Don't know where that counting error happened. But I guess I'm happy it happened because we're done. Foul right at home plate. Now we just got to go through the rest of the game. And, and we don't have to worry about strikeouts anymore. And then, of course, we'll get our Throw gold Tim Lin to come. And they let you keep the 83, but they lock it. And basically what that means is you can't sell the 83 because the 83, it kind of triggers the, uh, the quest. Here it comes. Hit high and deep out but the left center field. I cannot do Looking it. Is that another Davis. homer for Myers? And it is upper deck. This one ain't coming back. Another one for Will Myers. Is that another one for Will Myers? I think it is. Or was he the one that was off the wall? He might have been that was just off the wall. As this lead swells to seven to nothing. Springer is awful. He's batting 158. Dude literally is trash. Honestly, and I don't think it's me because, like, <laughs> you can see the way I play. I do well with pretty much everybody in my lineup. Then Springer comes up, and it's nothing. The 2 home. This is hit high in the air. It's like every hit is a flyout. Davis is under it. Because I'm not planning, guys, and doing the gameplay of the 88 gold. 88 gold. Why do I keep saying that? I don't know, guys, why I keep saying 88 gold. I hope you guys don't think he's an 88, because I don't know if he's an 88, but I feel like he is. But I'm not going to do a gameplay with the gold, because he's more of like the middle step. He's not really the important one. This, the 83 is important, because that's how you get the mission in general. And, of course, the diamond is the diamond, which I don't know if you can sell. I feel like it might lock that diamond into your lineup. And the only way to get the diamond Lincecum is by buying someone's 83, like the one I have. And if you buy the one I have, then you can trigger the discovery and go do yourself what I'm doing now. So basically that means you're spending 88,000 on a silver pitcher, but that silver pitcher can turn into a diamond. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone. And I think it's kind of cool they let you keep all three cards. Now even if the Lincecum, let's say it's a 90 overall diamond, or um, gold, when I get the diamond, I'm taking it out because I don't want two Tim Lincecums in my lineup. That's just annoying. I want to be able to use different players. So no matter how good the middle Tim Lincecum is, once I get the diamond, he's out of the lineup. And if it's an 85 Lincecum, I might not even use him in my lineup because I'm getting sick of Tim Lincecum. 
I'll take him out and I'll put Scott Casimir in because I want to use Casimir. Chris Davis tripled last time up and he set the bat again here. So we will, this could be the last Tim Lindsay coming to the diamond. Think he held up in time, but that becomes and of course the goal is to get this all done two. before Madden 17 because quite obviously Indiana. once that comes out that's going to take up a lot of my channel steps into the box honestly the probably all of it to be honest with you I might do a destiny strike here or there I might do an MLB game here or there here's the first pitch but I have a solid feeling that once Madden 17 comes out that's what the channel is gonna be for a while. Which I don't, I, I don't think you guys will care about that, and I don't. I obviously don't care about that either. And then I don't know if I'm gonna broadcast all the other shooters. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays like, alive. Uh, Gears of War 4, two. Call of Duty, Infinite Shit Fair. Which you know, the funny oh, thing with really Call of Duty is, I know a lot of times I, I should be talking about baseball down. right now. But a lot of my videos just turn out to be rambling while we play a game, and I'll talk about right the game, of course. He's got a hit in three but I think the point. thing is with Call of Duty, we all know Infinite Warfare is going to blow. Swing and a liner. Although, you know, I can't but say that because I am a ball. proud fan of Call of Duty Ghosts. So that's actually my favorite Call of Duty. And if you're watching Man, at this point, I'm ready for the hate right comments. But yeah, Ghosts, if, no Ghosts is my favorite right. COD. If I could pick one, that'd be it. So maybe I won't hate Infinite Warfare. But honestly, Black Ops 3 to me was a steaming pile yeah, of crap. And on and I hated it. Back. And I, I think I put in a solid 24 hours of gameplay into it. I did try. You know, oh, I reinstalled it on my Xbox multiple times. Time. I so really tried to get into it. One and two. I've never been the biggest fan of zombies. Line so I'm not going to, you know, comment on zombies. Because I've never been a big fan of it. It's never been something I played. Run. But... I, you know, typically I like COD campaigns. Safely, this one double. just confused me, and the whole robot thing just kind of got me mad. Into the box and then, one over the honestly, the multiplayer, the I, I don't know. I didn't like it. I liked Black Ops Here's 2 and Black Ops 1, and that's another home run from man. Jason Kipnis. Is it out of here? It is! Jason Way Kipnis out of the park home run. Oh, my God. Outside. He took that thing out of the park. How about that? JD Martinez will be the first but yeah, as I was saying, I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered the big the one to get Modern Warfare re-released. Which, obviously, here's the thing, what I think. And they're not going to release it on its own. Because if they the did, stand. we'd all go buy that. The only way they're going to sell Infinite Warfare is if you promise a copy of Modern Warfare. That's the only way the you're going to convince people to buy the game. Which, I like Infinity Ward COD games. Now. So... Maybe it won't be shit fair. I have a feeling it will be. But maybe it won't. Especially with Call of Duty. I'm always willing to try it. I can never guarantee I'm going to like it. I'm going to be out again in a second. But I can always say I'll try it. And god damn it. But I'll always try COD. I was going to do Ghosts for the channel actually. But I couldn't get into a lobby. Which sucks, because I really wanted to play Ghosts. I love that game. And missed that time. It's 0 and 1. I will but not play Black Ops 3. And it, eh. Advanced Warfare is one. eh. Didn't hate it. Didn't love it. But I had fun with Sent it, I think. In terms of shooters, Chris though, Destiny's kind of been the one the play, that, that I've been all over. The and the Strike video did decently well with views. Yonder Alonso I mean, it got three views, but when you only have 10 subscribers, I mean, three views, that's 30% of your viewers. So, the, I'll take that. I mean, basically, I use views to kind of gauge how popular something is. Like, if a video gets no views, to me, that means you guys are not interested. If it gets a lot of views, that means I know I got to do more of it because you guys enjoy that. Like, the 20... The 60 um, pack really opening has 20 views, so I know you guys enjoyed it. The first Madden pack opening got 50, so I can tell what you guys Steven enjoy Bolt most is pack openings, time now as which is good because that's what I enjoy up. most doing. He lifts a high pop up. So that works. Into foul territory on the Again, right 60 side. pack openings, in and they're going like to be rare, probably if anything special events, 
Coco or thank Chris yous. Will stand in as they're quickly down but to the final four. Party pack tonight. openings. Matt, like those I can see happening a little more often. Right Not on an every week basis, but more often than like once a month. Jed Lowry will stand in now. He flew out in his first I'm not planning on doing anything this weekend because I think you guys enjoyed the 60 packs. And considering I'm going to have Tim Lincecum stuff, there's going to be a lot of content. But the thing with MLB is you don't get packs for really anything unless you spend your stubs on them. So, sadly, the only way to get packs really is to buy them. You get one pack like every 10 days just for playing the game. But then besides that, that's it. That is really it in terms of them giving you packs. First pitch of the at bat. Drives it out to deep. Is Seeger going to join the home run party? Going back. Yep. Seeger joins the home run party that seemingly everyone's in on. 10 0 tacos. A solo home run here for Kyle Seeger as this lead got even wider. Grounder down the line. And that's third. a base hit for Will Myers. And no shot there for Valencia. It's a screw fair it, ball. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. And this will be a three for four night as he's in there with a double. Well, and now this Springer asshole's up. I hate, in. you know what? Guys I'm nine. coming into the game. I'm coming in. I'm joining the game, everybody. The the Dozer 03, the, fire. the famed superstar from Road else's. to the Show, is joining Diamond Dynasty. Here we go. Ah! Lying toward the gap in left center. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? That was my hey, that double. Was nice. Tim Lincecum steps in for a all right, Lincecum. We got one out with a man on second. Let's do this. He's been in control all game. Yeah, he's been in total control of this game, Matt. I see no reason to be going with anybody else out there on the mound right now. Sent out to straightaway center field. Thank you, Lincecum, because now I can tag up. And he makes the catch for the second out. And he's I probably should have tagged down on my fly out, but... Gregory yeah. Polanco. Polanco, what's his average down to? 349? Because he has been having a couple one for four nights. Last night I played a game, I think he went like one for five, actually. Speaking of hitting, last night the Giants, third or shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Time, MLB one. record, seven hits. He went seven for seven in a 14 inning game. That's pretty crazy. I wonder how much his average went up. If you guys know, leave it in the comments below because I am curious. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Oh and two, here it comes. Surprise! Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll be No, I almost did it. So that didn't go quite a Almost got the bunt. So I'm coming in for Springer because Springer's garbage. Here to lead off the ninth, and with his club already well down, he'll just need to So we're up ten nothing. And we kick off the ninth inning with a We have our strikeout right requirement met with Tim Lincecum. Barely able to make contact down on Let's do it. Just for good measure, another strikeout. I gotta say, his 83 with zero energy performs better than like half my pitchers. So I can only imagine what his full energy diamonds can do for my team. Because right now, uh, it's a record. We're five and zero, and our ERA is like one. So he's about to be six and zero with an ERA of less than one for an 83. I can only imagine how good that diamond's going to be if the silver is this good. And this is And I gotta say, the game got his delivery pretty well. I think he had more turn, more rotation in his delivery. But maybe not. Maybe that's how he threw as a rookie when we get to the diamond. Look up, like, just look up on YouTube, like Tim Lincecum delivery. He got into like a massive body turn and then whips it. This isn't as extreme as his normal delivery. So may, I'm thinking this is maybe how he pitched as a rookie, and, guys, we and then the diamond an will pitch as he actually pitched. This one by the gentleman you see so, right here. yeah, we got our eight. We got 14, so we got six He's extra strikeouts. Eight and two-thirds, pretty much a complete game because you can't pitch from the start. Three hits, no runs on 98 pitches. Typically, it's in the 120s. So very good game for Tim Lincecum. I'll take that, McCann. Or I'm not.
Give me Lance Lynn. No! That was a starter. That's not a starter. Alright, guys. Typically, we're done after the game, but not today. We have one more thing to do. Yes, please. Evolve Tim Lincecum by feeding starting pitchers to your Diamond Dynasty player. So did they just evolve the one I got? Where's my Lincecum? I thought I got a gold out of this. What? Are you on crack? Ah, shit. Was I wrong here? Was I wrong the whole time? I think I screwed up, guys. Oops. I guess you don't get a gold. I thought they evolved it into a gold for you. Hold on. So this one, it doesn't even say I get a diamond as my reward. I don't know what's going on right now, guys. But let's go feed some starting pitchers. Not starters, though. Oh, yeah, let's feed Lindsay Gum. I have Porcello. Beast. Love that guy. Things I'd love to feed all these guys, but... Okay, if I have two on a ball, Sanchez, one can go. Free. A I'm trying to feed free agents and duplicates. Because remember, I am trying to do all those sets. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to get from these. I'm expecting it to be decent. I mean, I'm feeding him a lot of pitchers. But commons probably don't give you very much. Let's do it. Let's feed myself all these pitchers. That's it. All That's all I got for starters right now. I'm expecting it honestly to be like 10% done. Because I didn't feed anything like good. 6%. Oh my god. Yeah, guys. This is going to take some time. Now, you know what we're going to do? Is it stupid? Yeah, kind of. But it'll get me a diamond faster. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go 85 starters. I want to buy starting pitchers that are gold. For Tim Lincecum. So I want the max price. Let's just say 1200 If that's possible. Which it's not. I was going to say because then I can get two. Because I feel like a gold should give me decent percentage. Who's the cheapest gold? Jose Quintana is the cheapest. Grab him. Now in one game, I'll have enough to buy one more. This is going to kill me that I have to buy a gold and feed it. But we have to, guys. For the sake of getting myself a diamond Tim Lincecum. We just did it. Now, I have a feeling that'll give me anywhere from 5 to 10%. Oh, God. That only gave me 6%? Oh, my God, guys. This is going to take forever. So, I'm assuming that means silvers give me 3. Diamonds give you 12. Bronzes give you 1. Commons probably give you 0. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm level 28, but oh my god. See, look, this one actually tells me the diamond I'm getting. So let me look up the Tim Lincecum quest line, because I want to tell you guys what's going on. Because now I'm lost. I know we're getting a diamond out of this, but... I am lost. I thought I got a gold out of this. I'm looking it up now. I am sorry, guys. I do not know what's going on. Oh, my God. I have to feel... I have to... Oh, my God. I have to feed so many. So, it's not telling me anything. I look up, like, his mission line. I'll watch a YouTube video later on it. <sighs> well, guys, as you can see, I just got to get feeding on stuff. I don't want to feed anything from this. Let's see if White Sox counts me having uh, 
what's his freaking name? Quintana. I am curious if you can feed and still have guys. No, you cannot. So as I kind of expected, you gotta actually have the card, not just have had the card. Almost level 30. Oh, damn, I can get there quicker. I can get a 90 John Lester. Actually, I don't have the tickets for it. Use players that weigh more than 230. Well, here's a good trick for you guys. Do this. Let's go to 231 then. There. Now that guy's over 230. That'll work. All right, so Lindsey Gum is out of the lineup. This was a great card. I really liked it. But now Scott Casimir joins the lineup. There's the squad. Hamels, Carrasco, Verlander, Duffy, and Casimir. I'd love to sell some relievers too. But I don't think that's going to work. And right now, Rosenthal is better than Boxberger. So, make that... Oh, the Boxberger is not even in my lineup. Probably because of all these guys. Yeah. Alright, guys. Well, I just have to get a lot of starters. Um, I'm probably going to have to get golds. That's probably what it's going to have to be. Help. Help me get my lens to come. So, yeah. Until next time, this is Dozo3 signing out. I think I said that too early.